Hey YouTube, 85cc Master here, bringing you a video of my wood drying kiln for my firewood and future wood products. So, all this thing consists of is this um, shed. It's, uh, I believe, eight foot long. Um, get how wide this thing is. One, two, three, four. It's about like four and a half foot wide. And it's uh, probably at the highest point up right up there is probably oh, six and a half foot tall, seven foot tall, something like that. It's got a door on each end. I just moved on to this concrete slab before I was using it inside of there but moved it outside for safer purposes. All I do is lay the wood in here on these boards. Ain't nothing fancy. It's got one vent up there at the top. It's got one on the bottom but I blocked it off with a piece of wood so nothing fancy I just laid a firewood on these boards I got a little slat that I use I keep it closed when I'm not using it but I open it up when I am using it and I stick my forced air heater which is over here I jack it up on some blocks and I have the opening open right here and I rest the heater right here in front of it and it shoots all that hot air into there I have the other door on this end closed and it gets insanely hot inside of this thing I had a thermometer in there for not even a minute and it was reading about near 130 degrees and I've left my firewood that I've dried so far I've done two batches I leave them in there two hours with that heater running and it heats the crap out of it I'll find all kinds of dead bugs inside after I'm done so it kills all the insects they get out the wood in a hurry So this, this is like my little area that I do my wood products work in, at least inside anyways. This is uh, where I do fat lighter kindling. This stuff is amazing. But this is cotton wood. Got a few bags. I'm not using those anymore, a friend of mine gave them to me um, I had some blackjack oak which is the last of it that I had dried is right here these are my new bundles start out with bag bundles now I'm going to this kind and all this is a clear stretch wrap with a handle I bought the it was like a thousand yards or foot of this clear t um, clear stretch wrap I got business cards made I wrapped it into the wrap while I was wrapping the bundle and I bought these um, straps off of eBay also for like seven bucks and I got like uh, it, it come in a roll I forget exactly how much it was um, but it was quite a bit um, should see better profit off of using this to make the bundles versus buying the bags because the bags are pricey so this is my first bundle I made nice and strong this is my dehumidifier that I also use 
after I've dried the wood, I'll put that dehumidifier in there and suck out the rest of the moisture that's lingering around in there. Right after I dried my wood, I test it with my, let me find it. Ah, here it is. I tested it with my moisture meter. I bought this off eBay as well. It's got preset modes on it. Set it to the mode that you need. I tested it right after, like two hours after I dried the wood. It was reading 0%, which the stuff is nice and crispy then. Um, about a week and a half, two weeks later of sitting around in the shop, it's reading uh, 11 to 15% on the cottonwood and the blackjack oak. Firewood, um, it's desired to have it 20% or lower, at least from what I've read. And uh, all mine is staying under that 20% after being dried and being inside the shop. So I'd say that's a success and the wood um, was cut up and split and sat around outside then I moved it under an overhang um, so it's naturally air dried for a few months before I put it in my wood drying kiln so it wasn't green wood green green when I put it in here to dry so this video I made mainly for Joe's premium firewood he was asking about how to dry wood quickly and affordably and the shed was um, 240 280 bucks and then the dehumidifier was like 130 it's a 50 pint and the heater was like oh a heater, I forget, I think it was 198. So 198 bucks, uh, like 130, 150 for a dehumidifier. And then, was it 240 or 280, something like that for the shed. So it was very affordable and has seemed to be effective at drying my firewood. So that's good. It's a homemade deal, affordable, and it seems to be working. So, here's my two chainsaws. I already done a review video on my Remington. I have a Husqvarna. Uh, let me get on this side. Husqvarna 562XP. I'll be making a review video on that. So, subscribe. If you will, please, to see a video of that. I'll also make a video of my topsoil. This firewood stuff is just a little add-on to what I actually specialize in, which is dump truck hauling and topsoil creating. And this is my firewood bundler jig that I built. I got it clamped down to this rack. It's nice and sturdy. Homemade also. None fancy about it. 16 inches wide. And 16 inches, I believe it was, right here as well. I did have these four inches taller, but I cut them off to make it easier. Because when you're wrapping, you're wrapping it, oh, wrong way, you're wrapping it like that through this opening. And that's what I made this bundle right here out of. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. More to come. If you're interested in videos like this, firewood making, topsoil creating, Tag along, follow my journey.
This is 85cc Master. Y'all have a good one.